Hello everyone. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. I have to apologize for my voice. It might sound a little bit weird, but I have caught another cold. If you follow me long enough, you might notice that I do catch colds pretty easily. Uh, and often, uh, if anybody has a cold within a hundred mile radius of me, I will catch it. I, I swear I could catch a cold over a phone. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, it is Valentine's Day, uh, the day to celebrate love. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I'm a very romantic soul myself. I, I do, I do love romance. Um, I might go and watch uh, a really lovely movie called Ever After with Drew Barrymore. Uh, yeah, that's just a sweet and romantic movie. So yeah, I do quite like to watch some romance. <laughs> So yeah, Valentine's. I know a lot of people say it's over commercialized and I, I understand that. I mean you know, it is to sell chocolates, which will be on sale tomorrow. So, you know. <laughs> see you guys uh, down at the shop tomorrow. But I um I kinda feel like with romance and love it's very much about connection. And I don't like to think of limiting that between just two people I can get that sense of connection and I, it probably isn't romantic but I like to call it romantic because it feels like a romantic feeling whenever I'm out in nature because I just feel so much connection and love towards it and I can also feel that whenever I'm in an old building and yeah and also whenever I go to London or Edinburgh or back in Malmö or Lund in Sweden I can feel this sort of connection and again almost romantic feeling just walking around and um, imagining like the stories and the history of each place and I also feel so connected as well to that because we all we all are we're all connected to the past and to the future we are like the link in it and that kind of makes me feel so fascinated with just the human spirit and the human story and our place here on earth as we even though sometimes I don't feel like I sometimes I don't feel like it but I can really feel when I'm out in nature the sense of belonging because this is I am of I'm part of this planet and when I'm in nature, I do feel a sense of welcome. And it really can get me quite emotional sometimes. And as well with uh, old buildings, I really love to, if I find like a, a ruin and a wall, I like to kind of put my hand on like the lowest stone. And I like to imagine who was the last person to touch that stone and who will be the next person in a couple of hundred years. Mm. So there is, a, there, historically there was a movement called Romanticism, which was a reaction to the industrialism, which was in the late 1700s, early 1800s. And uh, Romanticism came a little bit after that, like later in the 1700s and ended roughly the same, same time. Now it was a reaction to the industrialism, as in the industrialism was very much about science and logic and move, looking forward and well I guess logic and practicality whereas romanticism was all about feeling and nature and it also had a very uh, way of looking at the past it would romanticize uh, a phrase we use today we romanticize the past we romanticize um, things <laughs> and perceive them as sometimes better than they, they were. Um, but yeah, Romanticism was very much about the Middle Ages, which is, I can recognize because I can imagine that too, the Romantic uh, period of the knights and uh, <laughs> veils and dresses and horses and um, nature. Just, just ignore the plagues. <laughs> Uh, which I probably would have caught. I would have caught, oh, caught the plague again. You know me. 
and it was also the un the industrialism was also very much uh, man against nature. That nature was almost like this foe we had to defeat and master, whereas romanticism was all about nature over man. That we are really just small against this huge thing called nature. And I've never minded feeling small, because being small doesn't mean being insignificant. I like that I am just this small piece in this big puzzle of the planet. And I can feel that a lot when I'm standing on the beach looking out at the ocean, or if I'm in the woods and I see a giant tree, I can feel this sense of real awe and wonder, which what romanticism is all about is this sublime uh, awe and wonder for things. And that's something I've always felt. Sometimes I will lose it and lose my way and forget that I am actually connected. I am of this planet and I do belong here. And we all belong here and we're all connected to each other. And we all share this sense of wanting to create and connect with each other. And yeah, so I wanted to try and just uh, paint something uh, for today as, and I'll see what, what happens with this one really. <laughs> I'm not too sure where I'm going with this. I have lots of ideas, but I'm just gonna try and sit down, relax, have another cup of tea and paint. And uh, yeah, it'd be lovely to have you guys keep me company. Before I continue, I'd really like to thank today's sponsor, Wild. Wild is a very mentally friendly deodorant uh, with a refillable case. Uh, the case is very durable, so you can have it for a very long time. And it's subscription based, so you can get refills. All the refills are compostable and made of natural ingredients as well, which is really great for me. I am always trying to find ways to reduce my plastic use, and that is one of their missions as well. They're really easy to refill. You just pop the bottom off. and then you put the refill in, and then you're good to go. And uh, they last all day, pretty much put it on in the morning and then I forget about it, I'm good to go. They are also certified vegan and cruelty free, which is really important to me as well, as I don't want to buy any products that cause any harm to animals. They're also on a mission, so every time you buy from Wild, uh, they plant a tree to grow the wild forest, and thanks. To their partnership with on a mission so that's kind of cool as well they also powered by plants so they don't have any aluminum salts parabens or sulfates they have a new uh, scent for valentine's day it's a limited scent uh, it's rose petals and i think it smells really nice and uh, yeah it's got a really nice flowery smell to it Uh, you're welcome to click on the link below in the description for the promo code and you get 20% off uh, to up for Valentine's. So if it's something you would like, of course, you know, uh, if it's something you would be interested in, you're, you're welcome to, to have a look. But yeah, thank you for listening and yeah, thanks again to Wild for sponsoring this video. Hello, uh, it's me again. <laughs> I do have to apologise again for my terrible voice, uh, it's pretty croaky. Um, but yeah, just kind of wanted to tell you guys what my thought process for this was. Um, I'm using Holbein acrylic wash again for this, and it's acrylic uh, paper. And it took me a while to decide what I really wanted to paint, as I just had too many ideas flowing through my head, and I couldn't quite decide which one would be fitting. So in the end, I just kind of decided I really wanted to just um, take inspiration from uh, some ruins not too far from here um, that I went to this summer uh, that just looked really beautiful. It's an old uh, medieval uh, ruin and it has this window and it looks so beautiful with the grey, greyish cobblestones uh, against the blue sky and there were these pigeons there as well. So. And I absolutely love pigeons. So um, now the ruin I'm talking about don't, doesn't have any um, greenery 
going over it, but I added that just to add some nature in there and kind of have it as, uh, you know, nature taking over and perhaps reclaiming it in a way, uh, which nature always does. Uh, and yeah, thank you for <laughs> listening to my little ramble uh, as I try to explain uh, my, my love for nature and uh, history and yeah, just, just the the wonder of being a, an earthling on this planet. It's, it's an odd one sometimes, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, it, it's full of wonder uh, as well. Uh, I don't want to sound too naive and say that everything's, uh, you know, sunshine and rainbows. There, there are also hard, hard times uh, as well. Um, but yeah, I just, um, I like to think of all the, the good parts, uh, and just how how wonderful it is to be a uh, part of nature. You know. Uh, nature just kind of claims us, um, whether we feel it or not. Uh, it's just uh, granted that we, we belong, <laughs> and that's kind of a nice feeling. It, it doesn't judge, and it doesn't, um, well, I mean, it's harsh. So, I mean, it would be hard to survive, so I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, yeah, just wander out in nature, it'll be fine. But, um, yeah. <laughs> No trees ever sort of rejected me and said I couldn't walk up to the tree. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'm trying to make sense here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm feeling myself turning into quite the philosopher in uh, this this uh, video. <laughs> um, so thank you for listening to, to my thoughts. Um, and yeah, I'd be happy to share yours if you guys feel the same way or have any thoughts. I do want to say as well that I do think industrialism has its good points as well. I do think it's important to look forward and I definitely do love science as well. So uh, as much as I'm a scientific romantic uh, person and uh, a philosopher, I guess. So, you know, Aristotle Joe, uh, that's me. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to go and make another cup of tea. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you again for being here and for all your wonderful comments in my vlogs. I, it really makes my day and really, and yeah, keeps me going. And I'm so appreciative. And yeah, on a day like this, uh, you know, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys soon. And yeah. Thank you.
See you in the next vlog.